All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about why probiotics don't work. Um, you know, there is a purpose for them, but I think we can all clearly, you know, agree on the subject that, you know, it doesn't matter how many fecal transplants you do, and fecal transplants are when you get pooped, shot up your butt, uh, how many probiotics you take, how many raw milk and yogurt and kefir you drink your gut microbiome is still going to be messed up i've seen so many people uh just hammer down probiotics after probiotics after probiotics and they still get tons of symptoms and then you know you have people like your friends and your family who've never taken a pro probiotic in their life and they have zero digestive issues now i want to show you how how my students and myself has used German new medicine to fix our gut microbiome with little to no effort. It's really easy to do once you understand the root cause on what is causing this dysbiosis. Now, I want you to have an open mind about this because it's going to be very different and kind of fly in the face of everything you've been taught, but it's time to do something different after years and years and years of this holistic crap that isn't working. Now, you know, eating probiotics and all these things are good, but it, it's not working and we need to shift our approach to, to, how, to how we um, combat these things, how we fix these things. So, um, you know, what, one thing that's, that's pretty fun, if, if we were to get like, ran, if it was like an actual infection in our gut, you, you would think... The bacteria and fungi that would be that would grow in our small intestine or in our colon would be quite random you know oh wouldn't it be like a strep throat strep bacteria overgrowth or like no it's like in the colon it's always e coli or candida you know it's always very specific bacteria strains and that's because they they serve a very specific purpose um you know, in, in, the, in the disease role. And in German New Medicine, we actually don't refer to colitis and, and um, Crohn's disease as diseases. We refer to them, you know, we, we don't really don't even refer to them at all. They're, what's happening, the, the, the condition of these digestive organs, um, they're going through something that we call a significant biological special program. So most of you, your digestive issue started after a stressful event in your life that caught you off guard. This stressful event um, registered, you experienced it as an indigestible morsel conflict. This is something you just can't accept. You just can't digest it. You just can't get over it. And in the way that your body adapts to try to help you uh, get through this stressful situation is by... Um, you know, turning on these, you know, putting these organs into overdrive to help you through this stressful situation. So the second that you experience this conflict shock, you're going to see a hammer focus show up in your brain where your small, whichever gut organ gets affected is controlled in your brain. You're going to see a hammer focus on your CT scans. You're going to start obsessing about the problem. You're going to get cold hands and cold feet. You're, you're, you might have insomnia because you're really focused on solving this problem that you're having. Uh, let's, let's say you're going through a bad breakup and you know, oh, what could I have I done better? What should I do now? Like, oh, do I need to get a haircut so I can, you know, attract more, you know, whatever. Do I need to go to the gym or, uh, you know, what do I need to do to, to fix this problem I'm having? And, and so... What is also happening like on the, the microbial level is when you're conflict active, uh, the, the bacteria and the fungi levels start to grow in your gut, but you're not going to get symptoms yet. You're not, you're not going to have symptoms on the gut level. Uh, there's cell proliferation that's happening on the gut level. The, the, the gut, we're, we're developing more cells here um, to help you digest this indigestible morsel we see evidence of this if, if you get a colonoscopy and you had and you have polyps those little like tumor growths, those are um 
those are the extra cells that your body made to help you digest this and digest and absorb this indigestible morsel. So let's say the conflict gets resolved, you get back together with your ex, or you find a new you find a new boyfriend or a new girlfriend, whatever. Now all of a sudden you don't need these extra um, gut cells, and your body's got to get rid of them. And it does this with the help of bacteria and fungi. So these bacteria and fungi that were growing during the healing phase now become active and this is where you get the inflammation, the, the diarrhea, the blood and the mucus in the stool depending on what organs affected. But, but what's essentially is happening, these bacteria and fungi, they have a job. They get activated by your brain. And I, before you like exit out of this video, you are more bacteria and fungi than you are human cells. We are one, one part human cells and four parts bacteria and fungi. The brain has control over the bacteria and the fungi in our body. These, back, these microbes are pleomorphic. They can go from human cells to bacteria cells to, to yeast to fungus to cancer cells and, and back. They can go back and forth. And this is all, and, and whether this happens or not, is all determined by the brain. And the brain is running these ancient, significant biological programs to help us get through these stressful situations. We're in a stressful situation? Okay. How'd you experience this? Okay, like this? All right. Let's adapt this, this organ. This is the organ that's going to be kicked into overdrive. We're going to run this significant biological special program and help you through this situation. That's what happens. So when the conflict gets resolved, the bacteria and the fungi, they become active uh, and they're helping with the cell removal. And, and you know, that happens. And the reason we get stuck, the, the reason why we have these chronic infections for a long period of time is because we encounter something called tracks. Tracks are things that remind us of the conflict. So let's see. Let's say you see your ex-girlfriend or, or ex-boyfriend. That's a tra that that could possibly be a track. And now you get thrown back into the conflict active stage, uh, depending on how severe the track is. Like let's say, you know, um, you you got a dog or something with your ex, and now that you're like fighting over the custody of the dog, but you thought it was settled. But now all of a sudden she's like, I want the dog back that would be a conflict relapse and you go back into the conflict active phase and, and it can really cause a mess because um, with the cell, because in the healing phase there's the cell removal and it, it, it just turns into, because the, the, the program keeps running and keeps running and keeps running as long as we keep encountering these tracks. So, uh, so for the people who are dealing with you know, either SIBO or Candida or E. coli, What's happening is these programs are just staying on because these bacteria are only active in the healing phase. You can take disinfectants to, and, and antibiotics and antifungals. I, I suggest you take natural disinfectants um, to, to slow down their growth, which will, will minimize the symptoms, but it's also, it's also inhibiting your healing. So, but, but there is a usage for these things because sometimes uh, the bacteria and the fungi can make the healing phase like so unbearable, you know, people die of like uh, septic shock and stuff like that. You know, there is a use for these things. Um, but when we understand what's going on behind the scene, because what a lot of people are doing nowadays is, you know, they're like, like my gut microbiome's bad, I need to fix it. And th this is something I fell victim to too. And... You know, I've seen people do like kefir, which is like the biggest probiotic food you can get your hands on, like kefir, 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 or yogurt, 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 raw milk, raw milk, raw milk, then taking probiotics, like 500 billion trillion probiotics going through someone's intestines a day and disinfectants to go along with it. And then they still will test positive for, you know, dysbiosis. How is that physically possible? And the only way that is physically possible is if your brain controls the gut microbiome and this significant biological special program stays on saying like, hey, no, 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 we still need you. 
we still need you still have a job to do you're not going you know you're not going anywhere yet you know and, and dictating you know what type of I don't know how the brain does this but this is just what's happening these bacteria and fungi remain active while the program is on until that that ring shape formation in the brain goes away we we identify and neutralize all these tracks these bacteria and fungi um, which get blamed for all of our symptoms and they're not causing the symptoms the the significant biological special program is causing the tr symptoms and when you encounter these tracks um, and, and, and hit these conflict relapses that's what's going to be responsible for most of your symptoms so I have another video about tracks uh, where I talk about like food intolerances and how to get how to get rid of your food intolerances overnight you know I'll be here talking a lot longer if I get into that right now but I have other videos for that I suggest you watch those and but yeah guys probiotics will never ever 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 fix your your gut dysbiosis they just won't I, I've seen too many people take insane amount of probiotics and an insane amount of disinfectants and still have tons of issues so it's it's all about turning off the significant biological program in your brain and psyche your gut microbiome won't go to normal and your symptoms won't stop until you turn off this significant biological program when we do that by identifying and neutralizing the tracks uh, identifying what the initial conflict was which will help us identify the the theme of these tracks and, and um, you know get to the root cause of these things but that that's essentially what's going on so uh, I have a ton more free videos on my YouTube channel if you want to check them out but if you want my want me to like hold your hand through this process of identifying and neutralizing these tracks I suggest you sign up for my rapid gut healing program it comes with over eight hours of videos. We have a Facebook group where myself and my coaches answer all your questions. We do two live Q and A's a week, um, and we have a protocol workbook where you know I tell you which foods I recommend and which foods I think you should avoid, and and how to do this German new medicine stuff step by step. I see people remove their food intolerances in like a day, and in a month, you know you know a week or two people are like oh my god I've had a perfectly formed stool eating whatever I want and I haven't had a perfectly formed stool on boring bland diets in years so I want to show you how to enjoy a piece of cake on your birthday go out with your friends and family and enjoy pizza and beer or wine or whatever enjoy a nice night on the town with your with your spouse or boyfriend girlfriend and you know get that nice wine on the menu and really enjoy food again because it's it's impossible to enjoy food and enjoy social interactions I mean every social interaction we had today has food around it like what foods tell me in the comments like what foods are you dying to eat again like I know a lot of you guys are probably on keto and anti candida diets and stuff like that and man bread is delicious Pasta, mac and cheese is delicious. What what else what else do you guys miss? Like you're not allowed to eat sugar, you're not allowed to eat bread. Um, like tortilla chips, nachos. I mean, all these delicious. I know they're not the healthiest foods in the world, and that but that's fine. But you should not be thrown into a flare from in just enjoying what you eat. It's, it's just crazy. And I want to show you how to fix it with German New Medicine. It is fast. It is easy. And um, yeah, you can do it. Uh, if you go down below in, the, con in uh, the description, you can see my rapid gut healing program there and, and click on that page and find out all the details and see all the testimonials. But that's all I have for you guys on why probiotics don't work. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.